Sydney. I'm part of the Cooking Cousins, and today we've entered into a Philadelphia cream cheese contest. So I'll be cooking by myself, and Christy already did an entry um, for herself today. So what the competition today, this week, is side dishes. So I'll be making a cream cheese tortellini side dish. It can be served hot or it can be served cold. It's so delicious. So we're going to make the sauce all when, while the pasta is cooking. So what I have here is the tri-color tortellinis, and I just have my water boiling. She going to put them just into the boiling pot when went for a little roll, just like that. And then I'm going to get started on my sauce. What we're going to do is a little bit of olive oil, shallots, garlic, hot pepper, and of course, light Philadelphia cream cheese. And then we're going to add to that a little bit of chicken broth to thin it out. And then we're going to serve that with a little bit of red peppers, black olives, fresh basil, um, and that's it. So let's get started on the sauce. So what we're going to do is just coat the pan with some olive oil. Okay, so what I'm adding to the pan is one small shallot, finely cut, as well as two garlic cloves and half of a hot pepper. Now you can omit the hot pepper if you don't like the spice. Just going to mix that all in there. Just want to get the onions nice and lightly brown. You don't want to make them too brown. Then we're going to season with some salt and pepper. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Just going to let that cook up for about two minutes. So the onions are nicely sizzling up here. We're going to add a quarter cup of Philadelphia cream cheese. Now I have the light version here, but you can add regular version, whatever your favorite flavor is. Sometimes it's fun to add smoked salmon to pasta. It's a great side dish. So we're just going to mix that cream cheese in there. It's going to melt and give it a nice, rich and creamy flavor. Okay, so we just have it mixed in. You just want to melt it for about a minute because when we add it to the pasta, it's also going to melt the cream cheese. We're just going to add about another quarter cup of chicken stock to this just to thin the sauce out just a little bit. Yep. Okay, so our totally even the cooking. I'm just going to strain them. I love using the tri-color. It just gives it such good color. Just going to strain just like so and pour it into a pretty serving bowl. It goes with anything. It's great with hamburgers, chicken, steak. You can use it for lunch or for dinner. So just going to put that in there. Our sauce, it's our timer for the pasta. Our sauce is all done. It's nice and creamy. You're just going to pour it over like so. Perfect. And we're just going to mix it in there. And then we're going to add our toppings. Okay, so we're mixing in our nice creamy pasta. So we have some black olives, some fresh basil, and some red peppers. Just going to put that like so. Oops. And all the colors get in there. You're just going to mix it all together. Okay, so we're just mixing. And the last step. Is some freshly grated Asiago cheese just to top it off. Let's see where it is. Perfect. So there is my Philadelphia cream cheese side dish for the week. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for next week. Okay, so we're here for our Kim's our friend Kim's birthday. So happy birthday, Kim. This is so delicious. You have to try his recipe. Mm -hmm. Okay, now they're just eating straight out mm -hmm. of the side just bowl. Forgot, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They couldn't wait because it's so good. It is so good. Delicious. This is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. five star. We're just gonna zoom in on mm -hmm. all the colors in there. It's so creamy from the Philadelphia cream yeah, cheese. This mm -hmm. is restaurant quality for sure. Delicious. Restaurant. We're gonna eat dinner tonight. This is our dinner. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so happy birthday.